We are gathered here and united by God as a family in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Nothing is impossible because of faith. So in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the grace of faith and through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, may God increase and strengthen our faith in Him. As we start our Holy Eucharist, let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading for the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. Bind them at your wrist as a sign, and let them be as a pendant on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your houses and on your gates. When the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give you a land with fine large cities that you did not build, with houses full of goods of all sorts that you did not garner, with cisterns that you did not dig, with vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant. And when therefore you eat your fill, take care not to forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. The Lord your God shall you fear, him shall you serve, and by his name shall you swear. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord live, and blessed be at my rock, extolled by God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed, to David and his posterity forever. I love you, Lord, my strength. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him, and said, Lord, have pity on my son, who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said, and in reply, O faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him. And from that hour, the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, Why could we not drive it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. Amen. I said to you, if you, have, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's gospel is telling us about the failure of the disciple driving out demons. Why they failed to drive out demon from the boy? It is already obvious that Jesus said that because they have only little faith. Their faith is actually not in God, but their faith is only in himself. The thing that they already had have, had, uh, had, had some experiences to drive out demons before driving out the demon from that boy. But unfortunately, because they only feel confident in themselves. They only have the faith in themselves, not in God. That's why they feel driving out demon from the boy. And I think we also sometimes have the same experience. For example, when we live in our family and we feel overconfident knowing that we know how to raise our kids. But our confidence, our faith, if only in ourselves, without including the power of God in raising our kids, I don't think so that we will make a miracle. One of a family I know when I was still in my formation, that uh, the father told me, before the kids, they have four kids. Before the kids went out or went to the school, normally the father and the mother made the sign of the cross on their foreheads. And coming back, coming back from the school, they also made the sign of the cross. Before going to sleep, the parents also just did the same. 
making the sign of the cross on the foreheads of the children. And when the children grew up, out of four, three became religious. Two decided to become priest and one decided to become a nun. It was a miracle that the parents made just uh, making very little gesture, putting the sign of the cross on the forehead of their kids. But when the parents included God in their action, especially in raising their kids, God will do something great in the life of the family. So in this Holy Eucharist, we also not so, not so feel overconfident only in ourselves, but in dealing with any situations in our struggle, in our fighting against our daily sins, we should not feel overconfident in ourselves. We should also include God in fighting sins, in uh, struggling to become holy in our life. When we include God in our life, God will make a miracle in our life. So in the Soul Eucharist, let us ask the grace of God to include in every action God so that he will make a miracle in our life journey. Knowing that God is merciful and kind, let us pray for the sake of all people. For our leaders in the church, may the Lord continue to give them strength and courage in shepherding the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all people of the world, may the spirit of the Lord shine the light of truth upon them and enkindle faith within them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are grieving the loss of a loved one, may the Lord bring them peace and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord prayer. prayer. For this community of faith, may the Lord help us understand what he is asking of us and give us wisdom in responding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are marked with the sign of faith, may they soon rest in the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray, Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer, for those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our hear prayer. prayer. And for the deceased, Dorothy Styes, on her birthday, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our hear prayer. prayer. Lord, hear our prayers, and we offer all our prayers to you on the altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work our human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, and work your human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessing Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. Holy, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his patient, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, hope, and love of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer its other on the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ be passed for eternal life.
communion antiphon, all generations will call me blessed, for God has looked on his lowly handmaid. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The message ended, go in peace to love and to serve God and one another. Amen. O Sacrament Moscow.